last night in front of the Yantai Grand Theater, this entire area, which has a museum and a library, was full of people. Hey, a lot of you in Beijing, you guys know Nanlao Gushang, so you know that there are really cool, stylish, old parts of the city. You also know Qingnianlu. Well, I'm here in Shandong Yantai, the city of Yantai in the province of Shandong in beautiful China, and we're here at Suochongli, which is apparently, I haven't gone inside, very much like Nanlu Gushang, but here in Yantai. So apparently, Yantai is exploding in all kinds of ways. You need to come to Yantai Shandong to see the culture. And we're going to go see, you and me, for the first time together, this amazing new part of the city. Let's go. What's really cool, actually, is there are side streets. Very similar to the alleys, but these are all commercial instead of being people's homes. So there's a lot going on, there's a lot to see. I found something already. Let's go in. What's notable here is on these entrances in all, in all Chinese facilities, never put your foot on it. Always step over. Looks like a museum. Samples of money from 1,500 years ago. Hello. I think we've made the big cross section because you can see there are a lot of shops going both of these different ways. But we're going to continue down the main drag. I gotta say, one of the reasons as a foreigner I especially like these places is because of the architecture. So these buildings are literally a hundred years old at least, I'm not actually sure. These beautiful lanterns down both sides of the streets, it's absolutely eloquent, beautiful. I'm sure if it wasn't snowing in minus 10, there would be even more people. Last night we came here, and there were thousands of people. This place was decked wall to wall. Come on. We've officially crossed off of the main street to another street and we're cutting down another side street. So this place is a like a whole little town or village. It's not just one continuous walk like Nanlu Gushang in, in Beijing. This is actually comprised of a lot of side streets, small streets, and people live here in addition to the fact that there are shops, just not as much as they live in the Beijing hutongs. You guys have got to try it. And we're no longer around the people who made this, but I was not joking. This is the best chuar I've ever had in my life. I've lived in China almost 11 years now, so that is saying something. Koi fish. Oh, they have painted every wall. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. because it has these horns on the back and side of it. It eats money and keeps it. A lot of people use it as a way to make sure that they maintain the fortune that they're drawing in and to draw more fortune into their family.
this very may well be exactly like what it was living back in time. These chairs look very standard. I've seen this kind of thing. And this raised platform on the other side, on the outside of the home, you would have put wood or coal and burned a very small ember of fire. This entire platform would become warm. You could sit on it and dine, or you could roll out blankets and sleep here at night. Wow, this is stunning. I don't think I have seen a view as amazing as this in Beijing. Now I live in Beijing and I've been there for 10 years, so I love you Beijing, but you have to come to Yantai. Look at that view. On a side road, off of a side road, off of a side road, there's a side road. And it says s and Coffee, right here says Cafe. So this is a Cafe Ting down at the end of this aisle. Maybe I just want to drink a little bit of Joe to warm up.